is a superlative adjective. There are two types of adjectives that are used when comparing two or more nouns. These are comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives. What is an adjective? The job of an adjective is to give more information about a noun. A noun is a person, object, animal, or idea. An adjective will describe the noun by giving its size, composition, color, age, shape, weight, etc. Adjectives can be a single word or a group of words and can also be used with a verb, like is or was. Most adjectives come before the noun they modify. Examples of adjectives before nouns include, I saw a really big dog, or that crazy cat is running around in circles. Examples of adjectives used with verbs are, my friend is adorable, and that house is huge. Understanding the function of an adjective helps to answer the question, what is a superlative adjective? What is a comparative adjective? A comparative adjective is used when comparing two nouns. One noun will be better, bigger, or will have more of something than the other. Examples include, the red dress is more expensive than the blue one. And your car is faster than mine. When using the word then it will come after the comparative adjective, like, autumn is colder than summer. The rules for making adjectives into comparative adjectives depend on the number of syllables and the spelling of the word. They are as follows. One syllable, add er, like warm to warmer, high to higher. Sometimes the final consonant must be doubled like fat to fatter. One syllable that ends with an e, add our only, like fine to finer or cute to cuter. Two syllables, use the words more or less before the word, like difficult to more difficult or boring to less boring. Two syllables that end with Y, add ER and change Y to I, like happy to happier or early to earlier. Three syllable words, use more or less, like more interesting or less dangerous. What is a superlative adjective? A superlative adjective compares three or more nouns. This takes the comparison of nouns to the highest degree. An example would be, my mother's cooking is the best. The rules for making superlative adjectives are almost identical to the rules for making comparative adjectives. They are, one syllable words, at s to the word. Remember that it is sometimes necessary to double the final consonant. Examples are, strong to strongest and big to biggest. One syllable words ending with an e, only add st like fine to finest or rare to rarest. Two syllable words ending with a y, change the y to an i and add est. Two examples are crazy to craziest and silly to silliest. Two and three syllable words, use most or least. Examples include most desirable and least expensive. Comparing adjectives. The best way to answer the question, what is a superlative adjective? is to show examples that compare regular adjectives, comparative adjectives, and superlative adjectives. Following is a list of adjectives with their comparative and superlative forms. Old, older, oldest, thin, thinner, thinnest, curly, curlier, curliest, nice, nicer, nicest, simple, simpler, simplest, gullible, more gullible, most gullible, powerful, less powerful, least powerful, famous, 
more famous, most famous, upset, less upset, least upset. Here are several sentences using these adjectives in their superlative form. He is the oldest one at the country club. That is the thinnest dog in the kennel. You have the curliest hair I have ever seen. She was the nicest person there. Those are the simplest instructions. Mary is the most gullible person I know. That brand is the least powerful for getting out stains. Pavarotti was the most famous singer of the 20th century. I was the least upset of the team after the loss. Word classes, nouns, verbs, adjectives, etc. 1. Introduction. Look at the different kinds of word in this sentence. I have an important conference at work tomorrow so I am rather busy. 2. What kind of word? There are eight different kinds of word in English. They are called word classes or parts of speech. Here are some examples from conversations in the cafe. The numbers after the examples tell you which units in the books give you more information. Verb, have, am, is, would, like, come, are, sitting, look, noun, conference, work, coffee, party, Saturday, Jessica, Drenz, corner, adjective, important, busy, good, cheap. Adverb, tomorrow, rather, really, here, preposition, at, to, on, in. Determiner, un, this, our, the, pronoun, I, it, you, linking word, so, and. Words in sentences, some words can belong to different classes depending on how they are used in a sentence. Verbs. Can I look at your photos? We work on Saturday morning. Nouns. I like the look of that coat. I'll be at work tomorrow. Adjectives. Adjectives are used to describe nouns. They give more details or information about the nouns they are associated with. A. Tell me about your boyfriend. B. Well, he is tall, dark, and handsome. A. Sounds like mine. Adjectives can be used to answer the questions what kind, of, or which one? A. Hi. I'm calling about the car you're selling. B. It's a great car. It's in excellent condition. A. What kind of seats does it have? B. They're very comfortable seats, soft, plush, just like a sofa. A. Ah. Uh, I think I'll sleep on it. A. Hand me a book. B. Which one do you want? A. The red book. The red one. Adjectives come before the nouns they modify, not after. Three happy hippies lived in the Heartquake Hotel. Wrong, three hippies happy lived in the Heartquake Hotel. Adjectives can also be used with linking verbs to describe the subject of a sentence. When used in this manner, the adjectives come after the linking verb. My mother is tall and slender. Wrong, my mother tall and slender. No linking verb. Seem, become, appear, and verbs of perception can also be used as linking verbs. Note how they are used with adjectives in the following. Can you identify the linking verbs and the adjectives? The journey seemed long. It appeared strenuous and boring. 
You smell nice today. What kind of cologne are you wearing? A. What do you want to do this weekend? Bowling? Shopping? A movie? B. Bowling sounds good. Caution slash be careful. WPS underscore alert type equals primary Tom looked greedy. He appeared to be a greedy person. The adjective greedy is used to describe Tom. Tom looked greedily at the pie on the table. He saw it and wanted it for himself. The adverb greedily is used to describe Tom's action. Slash WPS underscore alert. Adjectives are the same for all nouns. They do not change for plurals. Example, three tired tigers tried to tie a triangular tie. Not, not three tired tigers.